Someone once said that there are two categories of people, people who believe that there are two categories of people and people who don't. Studies had shown that men and women are different on some kind of thing. Uh, personality traits, uh, interest in math and science, hobbies, sexual behavior, mating choices, all these kinds of things where people commonly talk about sex differences. We subjected them to these statistical techniques to find out is it the case that men and women are really categorically different or is it simply that men and women differ but in a more dimensional sort of way. And what we found was that overwhelmingly so, men and women were not categorically different people. And I have to stress that there are certainly are some characteristics in which men and women are categorically different. For example, in physical characteristics or in strength. And when we looked at those kinds of variables, we did in fact find categorical differences. But when we looked at the more psychologically rich kind of variables, there just isn't a categorical difference between men and women. For example, what we might find is that there might be a particular man who's really good at math and science, or really interested in math and science. But that doesn't mean that he will display the various other uh, stereotypic characteristics of men. Rather, he may in fact not be particularly aggressive, he may not be particularly masculine. On the other hand, an example for women, you, there may be women who display typical uh, feminine characteristics such as empathy and warmth, but that doesn't mean that that woman is not good at math and science. That doesn't mean that that woman is not interested in sports. What that says is that the common belief that um, men are from Mars and women are from Venus is really wrong, that really we're all from the planet Earth. There may be differences between men and women, but the best way to think about those differences is as relative differences that some people have more of, some people have less of. They're individual differences, they're not categorical differences. Obviously in the case of hiring, what that means is that you should hire the person who's got the best qualities irrespective of their sex. When it comes to relationships, you often hear complaints like, oh, he's just like all those other men, or she's just like all those other women. And that's really the wrong way to think about it. These are individual differences, and some people behave one way, and some people behave the other way. It says to parents that when you raise your child, you really shouldn't try to pigeonhole them into a category that is based on their biological sex. You should really find out what is it that they're interested in, what do they want to do, what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, and you may find that some of those differences, some of those strengths are not characteristic of their sex, and others are. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.